Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadine Sands, and this, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff. I spent almost the entire morning getting the GameCube meme tutorial ready, and I cut out the cube, and like the lines go everywhere, and I got everything figured out, but it's... It's complicated to do. So today we're not gonna do the GameCube meme, but instead we are still gonna open up After Effects and I'm gonna show you guys how to work with 3D inside of After Effects. Well, it's not really 3D, it's just 2D that you're using as 3D. You can take flat text, you can rotate it, make it look cool. You can also use the After Effects 3D camera in After Effects to do some cool stuff. So if you've never used a 3D camera or experimented with 3D at all, today's your lucky day. This one will probably be short, sweet, and to the point so you guys can go and experiment with 3D inside of After Effects. So open up a Adobe After Effects, cause we're getting started. All right guys, Adobe After Effects is open and I've got just a blank composition down on my timeline, 1920 by 1080 at 15 seconds. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come up here to my text tool and I'm just gonna drop in and write text. Now, the first thing that you should always do when you drop in any sort of layer, whether it's a shape layer or a solid or text, is always center the anchor point because if we go to rotate or do anything from this, it's gonna rotate from the bottom of the text and we want it to rotate from the middle and do all that stuff. So control alt and the home key on the keyboard will center the anchor point right in the center of your text. And then if you wanted to come up here to align and you can align it to the center of the composition, both horizontally and vertically. So things are just rocking right away. So this is just 2D text. As you can see, I can just move it around in 2D space. I can't really do anything uh, that spectacular. If I go to rotate this, it will only rotate in two dimensions. But if we come right over here to this little 3D cube, uh, and if you guys don't have this, go to toggle switch modes and make sure that you can see the cube. Just turn on this cube and it will automatically make the layer three dimensional. And as you can see, some arrows pop up on the text. There's a green one, a red one, and a blue one. You can kind of see the tip of the blue one, but basically these are your access Axes, 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 axes. These are your axes that you can travel with your text. So Y is the vertical axis, X is the horizontal axis, and the blue one here is Z, which is your uh, depth. So you can come towards camera, you know, you can do like some cool thing where the text comes in from outside the camera or push all the way back, etc. So now that we've made this layer 3D, how can we manipulate this? Well, if we come down here and tool down our text layer, and go to transform, it'll give you a bunch of different options that you're not used to seeing. If I turn off the 3D layer, you'll see that a lot of it goes away, but as soon as it's on, it opens up some more options, mainly just X, Y, and Z rotation. So if we turn the Y rotation, you can see that you're we're now kind of like manipulating this 2D text in 3D space. So you can rotate it on the Y axis, which is pretty cool. And if you animate that, you can get some cool animations. On the X axis, which will kind of like roll the text forward and backwards. And to rotate it like you're normally used to rotating it, the Z axis, which is like your basic rotation tools. Now, if we wanted to animate some of these parameters, I'm gonna turn on my keyframes for X, Y, and Z, and maybe go over here to one second. And I'm gonna rotate it slightly on the Y axis and a little bit on the X axis you know, a little on the Z axis. And now you can see that we're taking this 2D text and kind of doing something slightly 3D and interesting with it. So you guys can really play around with 3D and After Effects just using the enable 3D function on pretty much any layer. Or you could add a camera to your composition and do some even cooler stuff. So let's check that out. I'm gonna delete these keyframes real quick and come up here to layer new camera. And this looks hella confusing. Uh, it isn't really that confusing. The only thing that you're really gonna wanna worry about is your focal length. I like to keep mine default at 50 millimeters. I don't really like to play around with any of this stuff. Uh, I just like to keep it default. And we add it to our composition and nothing really happens. But if we come up here to this little camera icon, we can click and hold on it and get some different options. So we have the unified camera tool, the orbit, the track X, Y, and the track Z. Now for the most part, unified camera and orbit will do the exact same thing. So let's switch it to orbit. And now we can kind of click and drag in our composition. And now we are kind of using the camera to rotate the text instead of the text itself. So we're not doing anything on the text layer. We're doing it all from the camera layer, which is pretty cool. We can go up here to track X, Y, and that will do exactly what you think it is. It will track it horizontally and vertically, but it is using the camera. And if you guys wanna see what the camera is doing, come up here to one view right where it says active camera, come to one view and switch it to two views horizontal. And that will give you kind of a top down view of the camera. So if we zoom in here, this is kind of your camera and you have your axes right there and it is pointing towards the text layer. So now if I come and track X, Y, you can see over here, my camera is actually moving in relation to what I'm doing over here on the right hand side. And same thing if we come up to track Z camera, if I click and hold and move up, 
it will track the camera forward towards the text. And this is kind of our point of focus here with our camera. And same if I click and hold and drag backwards, it will track backwards away from the text. And you can animate the camera just like you animate any sort of text layer. So if we come up here to the camera, and tool down our transform options. What we can do is we can set our position and we'll come up here to like one second and we'll track the Z forward. And maybe we will come up here to track X, Y and just make sure that it is centering with the text as well. So now over the course of one second, we are just tracking into this text and doing some cool stuff with the camera. Now I recommend definitely playing with the camera and setting as many keyframes as you possibly can and just like really messing with stuff because that's how you're gonna figure out really cool things that you can incorporate into your projects, into your motion graphics using this tool in After Effects. So have fun, play with it, set like a zillion keyframes and, and just go for it, you know? So I'm actually gonna delete that camera for now to show you the next cool thing, which is gonna be depth of field with the camera. So I'm gonna take this text and I'm gonna put focus here and I'm gonna move this over here and I'm going to duplicate the layer and I'm going to change this to rack. And you will see why in just a minute. Now, I'm gonna add another camera to my composition. Default 50 millimeter is totally fine. And then what I'm gonna do is click on rack and I'm actually going to drag the Z axis forward towards camera. So as you can see, I'm dragging it down and it's actually moving it towards the camera on this side. And I'll just move it over in the X axis so it's still in our composition. And I'm gonna take focus and maybe I'll just push it back a little bit and over to the left using the X axis. So now if you're looking at these top down layers, they're actually separated by 3D space. So there's space in between these two layers, even though here it just looks like this one scaled larger than this one, there's actually some 3D space. And what we can do is come up to our camera now and we can go to camera options and we can enable depth of field just by switching this thing on. And what that's gonna allow us to do is set our focus point for the camera so we can focus on different layers. So what I'm gonna do is take this focus distance parameter and I'm going to drag it backwards towards this top layer here which is rack. So I'm just going to set it right on top of rack like that and then I'm going to crank my aperture level all the way up. Not all the way up but you can see kind of what it's doing over here to focus and the more you go the more crazy it's going to be. So we'll just do it just so it's slightly out of focus here and then right below that we can change the iris shape to a bunch of different stuff. So you can do an octagon iris, you can do a triangle iris, square iris, which is not something you can do on a real camera. So it's kind of cool that you can do it in After Effects. So that's looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set my focus distance now that we have it set to our rack here. And I'm just gonna go over one and a half seconds and I'm going to change the focus distance to go all the way back to hit focus which is this line up here. And you can see that it's, I'm just lining it up with the layer lines on that side. And what that's doing is it's actually going to rack focus to the other object that's in the back. And if I wanted to, I could actually crank up the aperture a little bit more so that this comes more out of focus. Now check this out. It's actually racking focus from my frontmost layer, which is here closest to camera, to our backmost layer, which is focus. And this little horizontal line here is indicating where the focus point is at any point in time. So you could really do some cool stuff with this, whether it's text, whether it's images, whether it's anything really in After Effects, you can create fake depth and a fake camera to kind of do more with your animations. And if you're an amateur, you're just kind of starting out in After Effects, I highly recommend just playing around with all this stuff to your heart's content and really seeing what you can do and experience Experimenting with as many options as you can because that's the best way to learn. I can just give you the initial information, but you're not actually going to learn until you go and do it yourself. So just to recap guys, you can make any layer in After Effects 3D by just simply clicking on the little 3D icon in the layer panel and you can manipulate that 3D space on the layer itself or by adding an After Effects camera and you can add fake depth and you can add fake motion with the camera and do some really, really cool stuff. So I hope today's video shed some light on the After Effects camera tool. I know a few of you have been asking me questions about the camera tool, so hopefully this, you know, helped you. That about does it today for me guys. My name is Nadia Ian Sands and this is Learn How to Edit Stuff. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at Learn How to Edit Stuff. I swear to God, I'm gonna figure out how to do the stupid GameCube meme and teach you guys how to do it because I'm really sick of getting spammed about it. Subscribe, check out the last video and I'll see you next time.